Hello there, namaste. So I just watched the movie Pocahontas and it almost feels like I have never seen this film before. All right, so Pocahontas is one of those films I probably first watched 23 years ago and uh, probably even earlier or later or whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, before then, more years than that, and it would have never been in English. My parents had a thing of not buying things in English, so me and my brothers would learn my my father's tongue. And we did speak it fluently, but I haven't spoken it in years, so it's pretty much out of my brain. Other than that, I'm gonna say, I guess I, there's a reason why I didn't watch this movie a lot, because I am not a fan. That, so it, you go to the page, you look it up, it says it's a romance historic, and I am pretty sure that's Mel Gibson's voice voicing John Smith. I was surprised. I heard it and I'm like, is that Mel Gibson? Is that Mel Gibson? I was I was surprised. I mean, at, at the very end of the film, I was kind of bummed out that I didn't even want to see the credits to see if it was Mel Gibson, but that is his voice. He has a very distinct voice. That has to be him or it's someone voice acting his voice. But I gotta say, I was not entirely a fan. I mean, I know Avatar basically copied this film and you can see it in some of the scenes, like when she's covering John Smith and I, I, I kind of like it. So it's about accepting other points of views. It, it has a good message because uh, what, of course, the, the Europeans thought themselves the most civilized. They go to another place of the world, they start talking down to everyone because they're the most civilized, only to find out that well, they are a civilized people, but they have their own way of living. Of course, as I was watching it with my, my fiance, I was talking about other stuff being like, well, there was this kind of tribe and this kind of tribe and this kind of tribe. They did these kinds of things, but it's just like that that was just it, it to, to add more entertainment for her, I guess. Just me babbling on about things, pausing and being like, well, there was these kinds of instances with these kinds of people that didn't like this kind of thing. and. It, you know, I, I just ramble sometimes. You, you, you're aware if you've followed me long enough. Um, but yeah, I, it was okay to watch. I don't really care for the songs. I gotta be honest, the songs don't hit. I was, cause I was watching, I was like, I prefer Aladdin. I, I, I prefer that. Princess Jasmine, for sure. I, I, that's always been my go-to, Aladdin. And then Beauty and the Beast would be next. I mean, there's there's always those that you you just have a soft spot for because of the music, because some of the, the voice actors, all of that, because Robin Williams, for sure, in Aladdin, by, by far, hats off to him, was, was the best, was absolutely the best. But then again, this film, it, it's got romance. I like the message, but I didn't care for the music. and. I normally like the music in the classic Disney and I'm like, I, I don't care. None of these really resonate with me. None of these really sit inside me to where I can sing it whenever. Like, you know, those films where you watch it and then it's stuck in your head forever. None of those, none of those hit me like that. So it kind of felt down that way. But other than that, I didn't care for it. I liked the messaging, but the music fell flat. Story was meh. Is, is fine. The animals, of course, it's a Disney movie. You gotta love the animals. Miko, whatever the hummingbird's name was, and per Purse, Purse, Pierce, I think that's the dog's name. He learns to accept the, the, the other, uh, the other animals, the wild animals, and joins them in the end. Very cute. Very, very child friendly, I guess would be the term. So I, I liked it. I liked that, but I gotta say it was the ending. It was the ending that bothered me. So at the very end, John Smith basically sacrifices himself, gets shot in the side, and the only way for him to, to live is to return home to England. And he just confessed his love to Pocahontas, and Pocahontas just confessed his love to him. And he has to go home to continue his life. So in my mind, I'm like, that's a four month voyage to get back to, I guess it would be called the mainland. The, to get back there, you'd not make that trip. Just stay there with the one you love. And it was just, I was like, this said romance slash historic. This is not a romance. I mean, sure, you confessed your love for each other and then you split, I just, I didn't like that. That bothered me. I was depressed afterwards. I'm like, I wanted, cause she, my fiance was like, let's watch a romance. And then she brought up Pocahontas. Like, okay, I don't think I've seen that. I don't think, I don't really remember it. And then I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, if I would have remembered this 
I probably would have vetoed it because <laughs> I was not happy at the end. It was very, because it, it, it sucks. It sucks not being with the one you love. It really does. And it's just like, that right there would hurt. Is he gonna return? Is he gonna make it there? Will she end up living her entire life not knowing what happened? Thinking that he abandoned her? I mean, there are so many things. My head was going down the worst types of routes and I'm just like, this isn't healthy. But yeah, I mean, it's just the way it ended, I think, and the, the fact that the music doesn't really catch like most Disney. So it's really just those two things. Those two things. I need to add the S to the end of that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue-tied here. But yeah, uh, the movie is not for me. <laughs> Definitely not for me. I mean, I'm sure some people enjoy it, but it's just, I, I would have liked a more happy, happy ending in this romance slash historic film. Because at this point, it, it's, it doesn't feel like a romance. Sure, they, they love one another, but it just doesn't have the happy ending I wanted. <laughs> oh well, oh well. Uh, yeah, Pocahontas. I hadn't seen it in 20-something years, and clearly there was a reason why. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.